What's up, YouTube? Lord Xander here. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I know this story is kind of late. It happened about what a month ago or so, maybe a little longer than that, where uh, SJWs um, elitists decide to uh, cancel Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> so um, here's my uh, collection of Dr. Seuss books. Um, and just for uh, a word here, uh, p making political decisions or listening to, uh, academic elitists determine what is wrong in the here and now is always, uh, a bad idea. Like, for example, I believe, uh, in a certain time frame, and you guys can look this up, uh, when, you know, I guess prologuing, uh, Republicans in a certain state uh, decided this book uh, could hurt, you know, logging industry and environmentalism. So let's ban it. That was a, let me be a uh, PG-13 here, a poop idea. And, uh, you know, this is a great book. I, I loved reading it as a kid. I read it to my kids now. And there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, being responsible and uh, environmental. So uh, Dr. Seuss was definitely uh, someone who was left wing, which is fine. Again, uh, another old school book here. I don't think it's going to be on the banned list, but you know, you never know. You know, that could be racist, you know, someone with a big nose, you know, that could be a certain ethnic group or whatever. Oh, this could be, uh, you know, anyways, but you know, these, uh, images, this art, these words could make this book next. Cause like, oh, that's making fun of, uh, you know, people of middle Eastern descent or something, but who knows, but this drawing looks kind of a uh, European. So that's fine, I guess. So if you could smell this book, it smells like old. <clears throat> One of my uh, old school books when I was little here. So let's see, Club Edition, Random House. Oh yeah, 1949. So yeah, I think this was passed down to me from, uh, I don't know, like one of my other relatives, but old book older than me all right so uh you know here we have a little dr seuss alphabet book and of course uh one of my kids ate the corner because hey that's what little kids do uh you know and i got this uh little cool stuff here classic books here so we got four books got hop on pop oh the things you can think 10 apples on top and a uh, shape of me and other stuff so i'm definitely gonna read this to uh my uh newborn on the way so yeah great little box set there but this is the uh, treasure i had to pull out now uh, as you know there were uh, a total of six uh, books banned uh, that will be out of print and I'm sure you can't find them in the public library I'm sure they've been pulled uh, pulled out but in this book there's three of the six so here you have and, and this really nice hard copy has 13 stories again uh hardcover 34.99 back in the day um you can probably get it easy 200 bucks or more for this easy because it's got three of the six stories but anyways so <clears throat> the cat's quizzer which i don't believe i have uh on beyond zebra 
scrambled egg super. So I don't know, I might have one of these other books here, but the ones that are listed in this book are, and I think I saw it on Mulberry Street, Mick Elliott's pool, and if I ran a zoo. All right. So anyways, this is a, a very special book that you won't, that's out of print. You won't find this uh, anywhere in any bookstore. Probably not even on eBay anymore because they banned uh, selling them. But 13 stories are written by illustrated Dr. Seuss with introductory essays compiled by uh, Jay Shulman and Kathy Goldsmith. All right, so of course, Random House is a publisher up in New York. And uh, this one was made back way down in 2004, I believe this compilation books. And again, I seriously doubt that you'll find this book in the library because it's been pulled. <clears throat> but let's go to, uh, You know, it talks about Dr. Seuss, uh, you know, Ted is his first name, of course. So, you know, it talks about, you know, his life and his stuff here. Um, you know, he was uh, in the military during World War II. All that good stuff. So you get a, uh, and you know, Theodore Seuss. He, he wrote in a way that just, and illustrated in a way that's just amazing, that helped all kids read, I would say, especially kids of uh, the non-fair shade of skin, like myself. All right, so this uh, story was originally published in uh, 1937. So again, a product of its time. And yeah, you know, racism exists prejudice exists discrimination exists they are all three different things and but they're not used in the correct grammatical term uh denotation and connotation of why especially now in the year 2021 thanks sajw's i hate it but uh all right so who's the person doing the little uh, intro here barbara batter so American picture books from Noah's Ark to The Beast Within. Okay, so this is, you know, uh, a great illustrator of children's books and, uh, you know, illust uh, inspired by Dr. Seuss. So do we cancel this person? Because back in the day, uh, she wrote something positive about, you know, this story. <clears throat> All right, so... So, you know, here's a little boy with his imagination. And, you know, it rhymes, so it helps you read and all that good stuff. And then he's, uh, you know, imagining the, the horse here to be, you know, a zebra. And then, of course, uh, you know, this sort of stuff gets, begins to get problematic. <clears throat> Pardon me, uh, my coughing and stuff. My throat's a little odd. I'm getting off of a cold here. But anyway, so getting over a cold, I should say. All right, so same dude, same cart, but he's imagining it something else. Okay, so, so far, oh, here we have people uh, who were assumed to be Eskimos or something in a moose. That's terrible. Let's move over here. Hmm. Could this be an Indian Sikh? Oh, that's racist. And then, okay, big fast brand. So, some, so, so far, nothing problematic. <clears throat> and it wasn't problematic until the year 2021 or something, or whenever those uh, brilliant people with uh, doctoral degrees told, uh, you know, the Dr. Seuss uh, or Foundation or whoever is in charge of these uh, books that 
we gotta cancel him and cancel those six books because uh, they're racist now, they're inconsiderate. So moving on here. All right, so bam, so, so far, we're a couple of pages in and nothing super duper problematic. And then we get to the problematic part. Now, let's just do the whole picture here. A Chinaman who eats with sticks. A big magician doing tricks. A 10 foot beard that needs a comb. No time for more. I'm almost home. So yeah, people uh, throwing confetti, a plane. But <clears throat> because of uh, this one picture, this is where the problem starts. So again, uh, historically speaking, you know, back in the day, Chinese people uh, had shoes that looked like that and would wear, uh, you know, that traditional outfit. And yeah, they ate rice, so. But uh, I remember looking back at, you know, my childhood and reading this, uh, you know, Dr. Sue stories or seeing stuff like this and not really, uh, you know, thinking that this was the most horrible, most racist thing ever, you know, anti uh Chinese, anti, you know, Japanese or Asian or whatever. They want to homogenize the whole group of people and say, you know, Asian. But anyways, I mean, if you know anything about the history of Japan and China, not the best of friends. But anyways, all right. So da da da, and then you know the story is over. So because there's one picture. And a couple of lines here. This uh, whole story gets canceled. Now, what they could have done is, you know, maybe in future editions, they could have just, you know, done this, you know, whited it out, come up with a new drawing, uh, erase the lines, something. Or made it something positive, you know, maybe updated the image or something. All right. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, more about Dr. Seuss. Okay, so here we go. Mick and Elliot's pool. So we, here we have a nice little uh, introduction from Stan and Jan Berenstein. So the bears, oh, I love the Berenstein bears. They were just awesome but again they were inspired by this story which is canceled again produced in 1947 okay so again now <clears throat> are we going to cancel the authors of the Berenstein Bears because uh they were you know Supporting a racist. All right. So again, published in 1947. So we have, you know, a little boy with an imagination. Okay, young man left the farm. So you'll never catch a fish in Mac Elliott's pool. <clears throat> Right, so so far, no problematic images that <coughs> I can tell of. <coughs> Dang, sorry. <coughs> no racist words here. See, again, this is the little boy imagining stuff. <clears throat> so again, a uh, fish. Don't see him as racist. Okay, a little sign of pool. So 
So I might catch a thin fish. I might catch a step fish. I might catch a short or a long drawn, drawn out fish. Okay, so I don't know, is this the problematic image, I guess? Maybe a long dragon like dragon like fish, so is that what making fun of Europeans or you know <clears throat> the far east? Okay, the eye fish that looks like a dog and some cats. So you've got dogfish, catfish, cats. All right, so I might catch a pinwheel tail. Has fins like a snail again. Brilliant writing. Help kids, you know, catch along, read. Okay, flowing whiskers. First look like a crow. Okay, so far. <laughs> See that. Not seeing the racism here. Okay, the cow. Uh oh. Okay, so in the tropics, you know, the Caribbean, but oh, here you have a white dude. Okay, so it's warm and stuff. Oh, here as we go. And the Eskimo fish beyond the Hudson Bay. Decide to swim down, might be headed this way. It's a pretty long trip, but they might, and they may. Uh, here we go, Eskimo fish. So, news flash, and I'm being Mr. Captain Obvious here. If you're up in, uh, you know, very cold territories, you're gonna wear like a thick coat and a parka. So I think this is the uh, offensive imagery of, uh, you know, the uh, people being offended for other people. So annoying. I don't think I've heard, uh, you know, um, Asian Americans or, uh, you know, people actually from China or Japan, Taiwan, just making a serious outrage over this, you know, this year. <clears throat> and the guy who uh, is the Eskimo or looks white actually, but you know, whatever. Okay, then we move on. Catch a long fish. That's always cool. Okay, my catch assistance with this. Help him about that, uh, gold lobster. Okay, so so far besides that one page, and again, you could just totally cut it out or add new, uh, you know, have somebody new write a new thing in there with new art, but whatever. That's just uh, called, oh, an idea that could keep the book in production and continue to make money and help, help conti kids continue to read. Nah, it's just better to call it racist and just, you know, book burn it. All right, so moving on. So other than that, John Faster. So keep on going through this one story here. Oh, you know what? I don't care if they copy right strike this video. I just hope they continue to show it. I'll just make it private, and then later on, I'll just uh, figure out a way to get it out on the net. But again, I'm not an important YouTuber or anybody special. Just making these things. Oh, look, a thingamajigger. Very familiar phrase. Okay, so big old walrus like fish. And they're all over here, all the fish from all over the place. 
Again, diversity, inclusion. Those are like, you know, synergistic words here. Hmm, I don't see any images of the offensive fish. Unless I'm not, I might be passing over it, but all right. For that one page, that one panel, you gotta toss the book, all right, so. And that's why I think I'm not such a fool when I sit here and fish and make Elliot's pool. All right, so moving on to the last story. <clears throat> Thank you, McGrew, from the awesome John Lithgow. So brilliant actor. God, I love John Lithgow. Funny guy. Uh, been on a bunch of TV shows, a bunch of movies. And he, you know, wrote, wrote children's books. So remember, this was back, published back, if I ran as you, in 1950. So do we now go back and cancel John Lithgow? Because he wrote this, uh, you know, beautiful introduction about, uh, you know, this story, If I Ran a Zoo, which was canceled in the year 2021. Do we uh, take away from his uh, brilliant actor skills? I believe he votes, uh, you know, Democrat. So do we, you know, call him a racist and, you know, uh, just cancel all his movies, pull everything out because he supported Dr. Seuss? No, that's stupid. Okay, but anyways. All right, so that's his little introduction here. Again, millions of us, all ages, have these memories in common. Gerald McGrew connects us to each other, as do the Hordent, Yertle, McElliot. One of my kids is awake. So moving on, so far, no problematic images. Okay, Papa, I'll get you some mess and just wait up there a minute, okay? All right, so here's the page that's offensive. Again, making fun of those Chinese. And then here we go. Okay, yes, I could see why present day, or hell, even back then they would be offensive, but again, he's just making up a, a place here. There's no place in Africa called Yurka. At least not that I know of. But anyways, I'm rambling too long and I've been summoned by the masters of the house, my little ones. All right, thanks for watching YouTube, and uh, leave your like, subscribe, and comments, and uh, see you at the next one. Bye-bye.